Alright guys, so in this video, my brother just got a wild hair and we're going to tear his O2M transmission apart for his 24 valve VR6 build. We're hoping for what, like 600 horsepower, maybe 500 foot pounds of torque. 500 foot pounds of torque and this transmission is going to get a limited slip differential, steel shift forks, a fourth gear support. We're going to beef that input shaft up a little bit too and new seals and whatever else we come across that may be bad. So he just got this thing up off the ground. It was on this. Just moved it up here. Pete's over here. We got stick right here. What are you doing? He needs to drain the gear fluid out of this. And we're gonna tear this apart. Before we order anything, we haven't ordered anything yet. We're gonna buy from a company called Darkside Performance, which they are in the UK. Dark side developments. First thing we're gonna do to this is drill, is uh, drain the gear oil as soon as he's done messing with it. And what else? What else? Take the starter off. I think you gotta take this crap off. Then you can start cracking these case bolts loose and pull this thing apart. All right guys, so we got all the case bolts out. There's inner, and then there's the outer ones, and we're trying to knock this thing loose. Easy! It's just cast. You gotta be nice. I don't see it moving. Hold on, there's one more bolt. Is there? Where? Ooh. Girl, I feel like separated by Oh, that, I heard it. Yeah, it's starting to leak past the. It is. Seal, yeah. It's on the dip side. You better to hit that with a mallet. Oh. <laughs> Happy. <laughs> Kill. Happy. There we go. Broke it. No. So that's how you separate an O2M. You take out the little stub axle starter. You really don't even have to take that off. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Just the bolts. We threaded Obviously these. Obviously the clutch and the flywheel. Yeah, clutch slot flywheel. We put in some uh, some bolts so where it could get on the back side of this case. And dude, you got to thread them all like all the way in. And yep, right there. And it hits the back side. You gotta be nice because it's freaking cast aluminum and this stuff will chip off and you'll be done. So you know what else you gotta do? Take it out of the car. Take it, yep, you gotta take it out of the car. So the O2Ms are interesting because it has three uh like shafts, and usually transmissions only have like a counter shaft and a main shaft. Right, this one, this one, is this one is this an older O2M or a newer O2M? I don't know. Yeah, we're we're debating on that because this has the aluminum ends. And some of them have like a plastic end piece with a little C-clip in there. And dude, I want to say this is a newer, but I could be mistaken. If you know, this is out of an O3. It's out of a 2003 MK4 Jetta. Shoot, after we tear this down, we can order off that diff, right? <laughs> we can order uh, off the diff. Yeah. I forgot. Look. Boom. Got that QDH3Y. That is for my WX Trans in my van. Oh, we got some leakage, but that's good. That's a good leak. All right, hold this bottom, like. Yeah, make sure it's ready. Yep. Hold on. Easy. We got some stuff. Something's like grabbing on over here. All right. Look up underneath there while he pulls. Oh, there it comes. Oh, uh, there's a shift fork right there. It looks like it'll slide out there. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. It's like kind of. There we go. Oh, it's got little bearings inside of it. Yeah, it does. They were nice. Huh. Whoa, look how freaking hollow that thing is. Oh, that that's the one where you make the shaft for? I don't know. Holy crap, that's huge. Yep, gotta drill them out. Ooh, yeah, look at that flex. Gotta, you gotta drill out the rivets. We have well, not no, Yeah, not supported. I'm gonna be you It'll gotta, work you gotta drill out the rivets and put ARP. I think that uh, that Quaif 
from Darkseid comes with ARP. Dang, do I replace these bearings? I don't know. This no one? Way. You gotta look at them, see if they're bad. Alright, so this... Alright, that is attached. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we were debating on taking that off. And that's attached to the... Shift, what do they call it? Shift tower? See, usually... I feel like people always, whenever I see pictures and stuff, they always take it off and it's all on that side. Really? Yeah. Dude, all this stuff's over here. <clears throat> I don't know. Every picture I see, everyone, all the other stuff, all this stuff is like on this side of the trans. They're just like, oh yeah, it's all exposed. And all you do is just pull the... Well, they probably take it off the other way after they take this out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's not going to come out with all them shift forks, I wouldn't think. I mean, we don't have a manual, so it's Great, Ricky. hard to tell. Oh, no. Look at that open! Yeah, that's ugly. Weld it up? You could. Yeah. Nah, not on the front wheel drive. Yeah, you'd be not be able to turn. What are all these little, I've been seeing these all over the trans, They're just little spot holes. <laughs> no. Dude, is that the one? I think so. That that supports for? I'm pretty sure. That is freaking huge. No wonder it flexes. Dude, that's giant. Then it is like a magnet. It's not the drain plug. Huh. See that? It's a magnet there. It's not hmm. like a drain plug or anything. I mean, the automatics usually have them like laying in the pan. Dang, so they're just catching crap. And leaving it in there. Yeah, but it's not going to go anywhere. I mean, yeah, it's fine. Dang. That's, that's just a, extra. That's that Volkswagen stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every transmission <laughs> has yeah. that. Yeah. Nah, no, that's Volkswagen. No. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Dude. Yep. Chevy automatic. No, 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 no. It does. No. That thing is. Does, I, guess, I bet you my right, so we're putting this. We're putting this back on that side. And we're going to try and. And we're going to throw it away. Uh, this is this is when they click out out of the video. <laughs> like these guys are idiots. We might be. We might be. We might be in a bind too. So go like. All right, guys. So I pulled on this, got it out, and I'm still kind of confused. I wonder if that's just pressed into that. Oh, that did do it. There's the center bolt and this little flange, and that center bolt, if you unscrew it, maybe a thread or two, and start hitting it, this, tap that a couple times, see if. You can see that starting to come out. Well, I think that is stuck in there from just a vacuum, and there's oil sealing it up. So it's not one to come out. So I'm thinking that's how you get this off. I'm guessing. There we go. That's it. Oh, it just like moved up. We got this piece out and taking that shift tower or shift rod, whatever you want to call it, off. And now. Yeah, see that little O-ring was just holding it back. Oh, yeah. Dude, yeah, that's... Hold on, hold on, this is coming to focus. So, yeah, that O-ring was holding us back. And if you get the bolt, thread it in there, and tap on it, just like you were, it will come out, and you'll be able to get all this crap out of here. So, this case on that, and we're thinking it'll all fall out into the other side. That's how people do it online. So it worked. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to go out, come off this way. Like this? Yep. I knew it was. Yeah, you gotta take that tower thing out. Now I know. And there's your brass shift forks that are known to break. Alright, what pin? 
So isn't that pin switch a shear? Right there. See that roll pin? Yep. That's what pushes it up and down. And it shears off. Probably this one too. Yep. I mean, they're Both all. Of them. Yeah, they all have pins on them. Doesn't this one too? Man, see, I've been thinking about. Cause you can upgrade these. You can hit these pins out. Yeah. Right. This one you can weld up because it's steel on steel. Yep. This one you just get a 12.9 uh, grade bolt. Tap this. Thread it in with some Loctite. That's about all you can do with that. Hmm. Or maybe, I was just thinking of it, put a bolt in, maybe drill a small hole in the bolt and put like a little cotter pin on the other side because it gets through. That might. Well, you don't want to get the steel ones? Nah, I am. Well, the steel ones also have bronze little sliders. Yep that they sell because they come with plastic, I think, and they just wear right off. And if you're banging gears, you don't want to be, you gotta draw them out too. Then do I get any synchros? I don't know how they feel. They seem I fine. mean, honestly, it's only this, got 100. this isn't that hard to take apart. No. It really isn't. See, a lot of people or a lot of companies online just sell, I don't know which is which, first, second, and then third, fourth shift fork. They never sell the fifth, sixth. Yeah. But on dark side, it's not that much. On dark side, they sell all three for 170 pounds. Really? Yeah. So it's like 200 bucks? Yep. And mm. if you get them off of some other website, CTS or something like that, Yeah. they're like 300 just for these two. Whoa, for real? Yeah, they're expensive. So dark side is where to? Yep. That, yep, like it's that. like that, and it goes right here. So it's gonna be. So it's gonna be on that. Yep. On that big space, and it's supposed to support this gear stack, this whole gear stack, and that, dude, it flexes and it strips one of these gears. I don't know which gear is third. It probably pushes on it right there. Yeah. Big flat spot. Thing right here. So we're gonna make a piece or get a piece and press it into that and you know think that radius right on that piece of brass close enough yeah it's not gonna hit anyways should it no it should only hit when it flexes it's just to keep them together just you're gonna get a piece we're gonna get a piece for that yeah I guess just and press like it in there and just weld it on. Forty-one forty. That's got a uh, circlip on the end. Yeah. I wonder if we could get that bearing off without having to replace it. I don't know. They might be like a slip fit because yeah. that clip is there. Maybe. Hmm. I definitely have to get. I'll buy new bearings with the uh, quaif. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. I had you for mine on my van, because dude, you can't get them off. Nope. It sucks because they're well. They were eighty-six dollars a piece <laughs> when I got the Quaife and the Super Trans. Do they sell them bearings off that on that website, Dark Side? Yeah, you can. When you buy that diff, they gave me the option to get bearings. To get them bearings and the limited slip, or the uh, oh the bolts, ARP bolts, yeah. All right, guys, so I think that wraps it up for this video. If you have anything to add, definitely leave it in the comments below so people can uh, benefit from it and have like a place to go to watch a video because all the old forms, the photo bucket pictures do not work on Vortex and whatever Audi Zine, like all kinds of other websites with the, these transmissions that are covered. Dude, the photos don't work. And YouTube, hopefully, is gonna stay around for a while and we'll be able to benefit and actually see something so yeah if you got anything leave in the comments hopefully next time we'll have some more parts and we'll have some more freaking vr6 boost stuff for you guys so if you like this definitely stick around if not i'll see you some other time i'm going to sleep